Morning everyone, um, I'm just starting the vlog off where I have been starting it off every single morning um, at my kitchen table reading. I cannot wait for my new chair to come in, it was, I don't know when it's coming into my office, but anyways, um, yeah, today is I think Wednesday, um, I need to do laundry today, I'm recording, oh my gosh, I'm recording for okay, Sis tonight, which will be fun, I have a phone call, um, Quinch and I are doing laundry in like an hour and a half. And yeah, I need to go work out. I've been doing my normal morning routine. I wake up, as you guys see this in every vlog, change my workout clothes, read, go on a walk, work out. Um, it's really hot out today. It's either like 85 degrees or like 50 in Dallas right now. So I don't know what's going on. I mean, honestly, this is pretty typical. But anyways, guys, I got the best book ever. Okay, so my last vlog at the end when I was talking about how I was gonna look for a new book, um, I don't remember if I even kept this in the vlog, but I just felt like I was drowning my own thoughts and like constantly like, I, like f I don't know how to describe it, just drowning my own thoughts and going into this like really negative, toxic spiral that I didn't even realize was that bad. Anyways, I ended up getting this book um, called Get Out of Your Head by Jenny Allen. It's so good. I know I said that every book that I read is the best book ever, but like truly I mean that about the Ruthless Elimination of Hurry that I just read and then Get Out of Your Head. Like when I say, and even when I was talking like recently in a vlog about how I feel like this is going to be like a really big time of like healing and stuff, um, this book is doing it for me. It's so helpful if you struggle with like thinking and thought patterns and just like, I don't know, like not a feeling like, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just like literally it's so freaking good so i've been reading that i'm over halfway done um but i like go back and take notes and stuff i would be done with it by now i've only been reading it for like two days but i would be done with it by now if i didn't go through and take all these notes but seriously like it is literally the best book ever and i cannot recommend it to you enough i think everyone in the world needs to read this book because it is that good and i feel like even if you think you don't struggle with it, you do. Even to the point of like cynic cynicism, cynical cynicism. I, don't, I can't say that weird. Anyways, um, I was reading that part and I was like, oh, I really don't think I'm gonna relate to that part. And like that, honestly, I feel like is what I'm like relating to almost the most right now. It's just really crazy, really good book. So, anyways, I'm gonna go work out. And then I'm gonna shower and get ready. Um, oh, I started using retinol, as you guys can see, the reason that my face is kind of red. Um, so I think I forgot what day I put it on, and you're supposed to put it by, you're supposed to start by putting it on once a week, and I think I just got confused, and so I put it on too often, because I'm so confused on like the days of the weeks. I mean, it's whatever. So I'm going to show you guys like the makeup that I've been doing every day too kind of take you through like a nice little whatever and then I have a lot of laundry I'm gonna do and all that stuff I'm also really excited to record for okay sis tonight for their podcast and then um it's really fun because tomorrow that episode will be up and then also my episode with okay sis so Maddie and Scout and Lauren Elizabeth of YouTube in of the mood podcast um all four of us recorded like a round table episode for my podcast um like a bit ago and it's going up so Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, I mentioned this briefly. I'm not going to talk about this all the time, but I, my friend Val and I did this, like, cute, like, Bible study thing on Zoom, and it literally maxed out capacity in the waiting room. Like, I had no idea that that many people was going to want to do it. So, um, there's a Facebook group for it. I'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested in it. Join the Facebook group because all the info will be there. I'll share, like, one Instagram story a week, probably with the Zoom code and stuff, but it was really incredible, and there's a Facebook group, and it was literally, like, probably my favorite thing I've ever done. So, I cannot believe that many of you guys came. That was so freaking cool. So yeah, that's linked down below. This is my workout outfit today. My favorite Fabletics um, biker shorts. And then I just have my sports bra on. I'm gonna do like a quick workout. I'm really not feeling anything. But I think a nice little power workout will be better than nothing. So that's all we're getting today. All right, I just did a 20 minute workout. That is really more than enough for me today. Um, you know those days that you just like really don't wanna work out, but you know that you'll feel so much better? Um, I just did obviously muscle with health um, like power workout, so that was nice. I do feel a lot better, but I need to go shower and get ready, so that's what I'm gonna do. Guys, working out from home is very difficult with Coco because, oh, oh, she said you talking about me? Um, hi, oh wow, loves the camera, because she just insists on having the attention the entire time. Guys, she seriously does this for the camera. Okay. 
so I'm out of the shower. I'm gonna get ready. Do you see what I mean by my skin? It was perfect before, but you know, you win some, you lose some. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have been using, just getting ready. Um, it's pretty much been the same. My brows need to be done so bad. So it's like my really easy kind of like everyday look for when I actually wear makeup. I go makeup free on um, majority of the days because I feel like it's just better for your skin. But it feels so good to like actually get ready too. So, okay, I've been using this brush. I really love it that it Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe brush to apply whatever liquid I'm putting on. Um, I really love, you guys know, the... Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. Oh, some of you guys commented that this is a primer. It says can be used under, over, or instead of foundation. So like you can use it as a primer. I actually used it as a primer the other day and like it was fine. I just like it better when like that's all you use. I never do my makeup on the floor because I always do it in my bathroom. So as you guys know, my um, rooftop furniture has now been ordered. Obviously I'm gonna need more stuff than that. You know when you like order furniture and the more you order the more you realize you need i know that that's what's gonna happen to me but i need to like not you know what i may because it's so my skin is so red i may need to actually wear i'm gonna use this as primer and i'm gonna put my it cosmetics cc cream on well i don't know part of me also like wants to let my skin breathe i don't think i've dried my hair like one time i mean i normally don't let's be honest i like always let my hair air dry but hair has just been what pretty much this entire entire quarantine Okay, I don't want to irritate my skin more, so I'm actually not going to put the CC cream on. Guys, I literally have turned into like a book YouTube channel. All I want to talk about are the books that I've been reading. So that's that. Going to do my brow powder, but like brow powder, brow gel. But since my eyebrows need to be done so bad, they just look so bad. Okay, so change of play. This is not going to be like my normal makeup. Just my get ready for me for today because, you know, I can't really do that with my skin looking like this. But I've really been loving this palette. It is the Sculpt and Highlight palette. The Filmstar Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight Palette, um, Charlotte Tilbury. Really love it, love this highlight. I think it's just like so pretty. It's just the right amount. It's not too muddy. Like I think a lot of bronzers can get pretty muddy and that's not what this does, you know? Okay, so from here, I'm literally just putting on mascara and calling it a day. Charlotte Tilbury Mascara, again, I don't love this mascara to be honest. I love the other products, but this is so minimal that it feels like you're not wearing mascara, which is kind of what I'm going for here. But I'm not like um, absolutely obsessed with it, but I do like it for um, like a really natural mascara look. All right, so I'm ready for today now. This is like the biggest joke of a get ready with me, but honestly, even the like two minutes that it takes to put on like nothing <laughs> makes me feel like I'm more put together. So this is the makeup look. I have to go to my dad's to do laundry still. So um, I'm gonna have to get all my sheets and stuff ready and then I already have my laundry basket ready and then we're good to go. But I think I might take Coco on a little walk. All right guys, so this is my outfit. This is actually my um, Support Your Sisters Okay Sis merch. I was gonna wear the full set today to be cute, but um, the pants are definitely in my hamper, so that's not happening. So anyways, this is what I'm wearing currently for the day. I'm gonna go take Coco on a walk and listen to a podcast. Hopefully my hair dries a little bit faster this way. Um, my skin actually looks a lot better, even that um, foundation offers like no coverage, but that is what we're doing. The lighting in my room is actually so good, which is unfortunate because like the lighting in my office could definitely be better, but it just like didn't work out for this room in my office. So anyways, I'm going to go on a walk now. I need to take everything downstairs. I have all my stuff ready for laundry now, so I'm feeling like pretty on top of it. I'm gonna quickly have to pack a bag because I'm just gonna go basically my dad's house. This is like far away from everyone else. We're not gonna see anyone. Um, but he's actually at his other house and then, yeah, we'll just stay there as we do laundry and I need to do homework, so I'll probably do homework then. Um, I stayed up last night again because I couldn't sleep doing my Excel homework to put myself to sleep. Guys, do you experience deja vu when you watch my vlogs? Because they're that repetitive right now. Like, that's how I feel. I know. Thank you guys so much, by the way, for all the nice comments on the last vlog about how you guys, like, love them and you still, you know, it doesn't matter to you. Um, I'm just, like, being critical of myself, I think. But, yeah. Oh, there's Coco on her favorite chair. There she is. Just made a really quick lunch and then gonna go do laundry. So I'll vlog whenever I get back, guys. But I'm gonna do homework too, so it's not gonna be fun. Um, just broccoli and salmon really, really fast. 
Okay guys, I'm back at the house. I only got like half of my laundry done, none of my clothes, all of my sheets and stuff. But I got this package from Laura Mercier yesterday. Cute, took the rose oil. So let me know if you guys have tried it. I'm really excited, I never use eye cream. There's also, this water bottle is not mine by the way, it's his, I don't do that, trust me. Um, and then there's the perfect- I fill it back up. Uh, I think that's like bad for you though. Okay, there's the perfect cream multitasking moisturizer um, And then I make it cleanser and Conditioning cleansing oil. So thank you so much. Also with this like beautiful handwritten card and This beautiful like bag. I love nice makeup bags having these is so convenient But anyways, I made my I make this snack every single day now just a snack I'm gonna record with okay sis in like 15 minutes. I'm really excited because I love them um, I have my hydroflask, I'm gonna pour a glass of wine because it's a happy hour episode. I don't know if they're drinking, but I'm assuming. All right guys, so I've got about two minutes until the recording. That is really hitting a little bit crazy. Um, it's 5.46, I had my glass of wine and I recorded for OK Sis. Very conveniently, I have an episode going on with them tomorrow with Lauren Elizabeth. So, I know I already said that, but go watch it. I'm gonna post my Instagram story and then I'm gonna go downstairs because Quentin and I are gonna make dinner. And it's gonna be a great night, guys. Um, I was in a really weird mood today and I'm feeling a little bit better. Just life updates, as I'm sure all of you guys have been feeling. Awesome. I came down and, oh uh, yeah, let's do that. Um, Quentin is now famous for, he has AirPods in because he was cooking without me and I was like, this is normal. Um, but I came downstairs and Quentin was already starting on dinner, how sweet. But he has been making chicken parm. This is not normally how he's made it, but he tried this like pre-made Trader Joe's thing. Here we are, Quentin the chef. Oh, he loves Parmesan. You really do love Parmesan. It's the best. So focused. Good morning, everyone. I didn't get out of bed or wake up until like 10.30. It's 11.30 now. I spent the morning, I watched this vlog and Try to get all my nails off. I only have this piece left, but um, I made some cereal. I haven't had this yet, Q. Um, we had it and then he ate it all and he said it tastes really good. I have like zero intent of leaving my couch today. I do have some work and stuff that I need to get done, but I think I'm just gonna lay on my couch and write a paper and do whatever homework assignments I have and then also watch shows and movies and stuff. I just don't feel like leaving my couch today. I don't want to say the beauty of quarantine, but the upside, I guess, is that I do have the option. So, anyways, I'm going to go do that, not leave my couch all day. That is the plan, um, hopefully. Also, I, since, okay, so I ordered all that um, rooftop furniture, and I think it's actually getting delivered this weekend, and I thought for sure I would have, like, two weeks, so we'll see. Guys, listen to this. So, as soon as I, like, vlog, tell you guys how I just, you know, don't want to leave my couch all day and I really was just like looking forward to it like I was thinking about it last night and you know when you're just like home and then you don't have to leave the next day and you sleep and it's like a different kind of like oh I'm home you know um Quentin calls me and because I didn't end up finishing my laundry yesterday I just did like my sheets and stuff because I had to get back for um the recording and part of his are still there so like we need to go back to my dad's where no one is they're at a different house um and do laundry and that just like totally killed my vibe but i just want to share oh julia I i'm literally watching julia's vlog right now and she just texted me um but anyways i just want to share with you guys my relationship advice that i have for today because truly i feel like it's really great i convinced somehow quentin to do not just like a 40 minute workout an hour and a half workout and then i was like don't you have like a sermon that you needed to watch today and like do you need to like FaceTime people? Keep in mind, I'm normally the one that wants to be together. Um, and I somehow, even though he has no clothes, convinced him to keep up with his routine and do all of his stuff, whatever, so that he can work out and whatever, so that I can just lay on my couch. Um, and that's that. So in a few hours, I do have to go do laundry. But basically, I'm a genius. The key with men is that you have to make them think it was their idea. Um, I'm saying this because he does not watch my vlogs. <laughs> um, and then you're good. So... Anyways, I'm watching a vlog. I need to write a paper. This paper is like pretty easy. Hi guys, it is now 7 p.m. Um, I sat on the couch for quite some time and I wrote a paper, did all that stuff, and then I FaceTimed a friend, made some mac and cheese. Really crazy, productive day. 
went to my dad's to do laundry and then it was taking so long to dry that we ended up leaving after waiting for like an hour. So anyways, I'm back home and I got some new deliveries. I think I'm supposed to get, oh no, my Sephora stuff comes tomorrow. This whole time I was thinking it was today until I said it out loud, but my new rug came, guys. I am so excited. I fully, I like the actual color. We can't see it, so <laughs> updates to come, guys. Update, guys. I definitely actually really like this. Um, I love how it's just like neutral, cozy tones, so now I'm gonna have to put it under my bed, but it's so cute. So this is all I could do for now because I'm just out of breath, but I actually really like it. It's definitely cozy. I'm gonna move it under more, but I'm just not doing that right now. <sighs> oh my gosh, what do you guys think I should do for above the bed? Let me know. All right, so I just made Q dinner. Um, I'm about to have a cozy night in, which I'm really excited for. I really, my skin especially, just feels very dull, especially with all the retinol stuff, but I think I'm gonna take a nice bubble bath and then I'm gonna finish editing a vlog. Then I'm gonna watch Nashville in my room. It is getting really cozy in here, which is good. I really do like this rug. I know I'm gonna get tired of it, but like it's not that expensive of a rug. I'll have it linked down below. And then um, it's kind of cool that I'm able. Ideally, I would really love just like a huge white fluffy rug in here. And I can also move this to my office, but I do like it for now. So we'll see how long it stays. Um, I'm just afraid I'm gonna get tired of it really quickly, but I think it's cute. So gonna go do a face mask i have a big sephora package coming in tomorrow so i'll do a haul of that on an instagram story i'm not gonna vlog because tomorrow is actually going to be christmas in my house i have somehow convinced quentin that tomorrow is christmas and we're having a christmas movie marathon i'm wearing pajamas and we're making cinnamon rolls in the morning and it's gonna be incredible this is exactly my dream ideal day so that's what we're gonna be doing but i'm gonna take a bubble bath wear some pajamas um i need to fix my hair and um then i'll talk to you guys after all right i just showered um i washed my hair i used a detox shampoo and then i've been using my summer not my summer fridays i've been using the drunk elephant hair products and i really like them honestly the hair products that I noticed the biggest difference with, honestly, they're not even products. It's literally the whey hair oil. Update on the package that got delivered to my neighbors like a week or two ago. Sephora just sent me another one, which is so nice. So I think it's arriving tomorrow or the next day, but that was like seriously so nice of them. This is my little layout for the night. Normally, I don't really like to have, you know, like my laptop and stuff. But this is like a normal real life in here to work, but it's a cozy night and I don't care. We're in quarantine. Um, I have... My Bibles, a notebook, my iPad, everything that I normally use. I literally live in these slippers. So many of you guys have been tagging me in them. I love them. Also, I have cute little matching pajama set on, which is just the best. These nights are literally my favorite. It's even better because the weather is so nice. So I would love, I just have the door open a little bit to my balcony out here. And it's a very big balcony, honestly. I have a rocking chair coming. Um, I just messed up the rug when I did that, but... <laughs> I'm so afraid of Coco, like she goes out there and she doesn't do anything, but I'm just absolutely terrified. So there we go. Coco, you match my room perfectly. Guys, look at how amazing my life is right now. Coco carries this donut with her everywhere she goes. I'm just in the best mood because it's so cozy and I love my home. Um, but look at my skin right now. This mask is actually like kind of pretty, but I'm going to take it off moisturize do all that stuff um i'm almost done editing this vlog i'm actually looking at thrive market not a deal i worked with my podcast for forever ago but i haven't like reset it up and stuff since moving and i actually think i really want to do thrive market again i really really love it so i think that's what i'm gonna do especially because a lot of the things that i always want to make i find when i'm following instagrammers like i don't know about you guys but i just grocery shop at trader joe's so because i don't go to whole foods there's a lot of things that i can't get that are certain brands and then it gets pricey at whole foods and thrive market is cheaper anyways this is not a deal i promise it's not sponsored i love them have you guys ever had these from trader joe's they're seriously so good like oh my gosh they're so good oh she's out and about all right guys so i'm gonna end the vlog because i'm just gonna watch nashville and stuff tonight but i love you guys so much hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and i'll see you guys soon bye